Hi, welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. This is probably like the third time I've attempted to do this. Well, I should say the third time I've attempted this post-commentary because the audio kind of... game audio kind of... screwed up because of my capture card or whatever is being funky for some reason. Uh, so like the first close to 15 minutes that you can see it's doing it now is it starts jumping everywhere so everything gets behind but as far as post commentary goes like yes yeah, my third time because how do I say this the second time I got interrupted and then the first time the first time I don't know what it is but there's something corrupted in the video footage that's making it act weird so it I don't know I can't explain point is I just had to edit something around but it's not it's nothing anything important but still it was kind of annoying because I have to do this again all right what's going on gourmet guy he so uh, I guess he jumped all the way up there from the toy box now the Bowser's castle. I don't know how he did that. Unless Bowser's minions have some magical teleporter. They have to get to the ground somehow. Besides the magic Koopas that have like uh you know, magic brooms. Yeah, <sighs> sorry, yawning. Now we need to get to the first floor. And just very carefully sneak past these guards. Yeah, I just like how when Peach goes down the stairs, she kind of, you know, lifts her dress up only because, you know, it's so big and she doesn't trip over it. I just like those little touches. Here's the kitchen. I can't think of a woman in the kitchen joke. Alright, so what do we need to bake him, Twink? Tell me. Special strawberry cake. Now why is it special? Is it because Peach made it? I don't know. Then again, they do tend to give things well, I think it makes to make it seem more appetizing. Well, any food you want people to eat it, so you gotta give it give it a really interesting name. But special strawberry cake sounds bland. I'm not an expert at baking a cake because, you know, I've never baked one. But I feel like this isn't the correct way you would bake a cake. I feel like you put more stuff in there with it, then stir it. Yep, see, you can't, because <laughs> it's post commentary, you can't be mashing the buttons. See, I wasn't even sure I'd done it right, but I was like, eh, I'm not doing it again. Guess flour butter, yep. See, I would think you put the flour and butter in there, and then stir it all together. The best butter available, well... Well, royalty would have the best butter available. Or the best everything. Except for guards. Mushroom Kingdom does not have the best guards. When things happen, it's like we gotta rely on a plumber. Oops. Accidentally turned the mute. I had the mute button on the TV and accidentally unpressed it.
Oh, this little thing. As a kid, I would always... Well, I still do this, too. I always get some kind of stopwatch or some kind of clock nearby so I can count this. Because I don't trust myself to count on my own. Of course, this one, I was looking at my cap the little timer on my capture card and just started counting out loud with it. I normally give it some leeway, like once I hit 30 seconds, like one or two. I'm thinking you don't have to be exact. I like I, I think the game gives you some kind of some kind of leeway if you get past 30 seconds. I wonder if you just let it go on and on, would it eventually burn? I wonder. Oh, there goes the timer now. <laughs> it's so funny, the audio is like just way behind. Eventually, later on, it catches up. And that's when I just... That's when I'm going to put back in the original audio with it. I have to admit, though, this cake does look pretty good. Kind of a shame to just waste it on one dude. Cause you know he's just gonna eat the whole thing. Now luckily you don't have to run back through the guards. It just automatically puts you back here. Yeah, buddy, you've been wasting away to nothing. Why does Bowser even have you here? You think the Fubio will go up with him? Yeah, here he goes. He's spazzing out. It would have been interesting if he had jumped right through the roof. Oh, thanks. It's nice to know there's some bad guys that don't really dislike me. Mount Lava Lava. Lava Lava Island. I would start reading this, but I'm, like half the time it jumps so quickly that I can't read it. I like to say, why does she just jump out the window? She can float. Well, in Super Mario Bros. 2 and Smash Bros. she can, but I think she can only float when it's inconvenient. Like when it's not really necessary. Of course, when that ability becomes useful, she doesn't need it. And she could have just hit under the table. Oh, there she goes. Why does Kami Koopa always look like she's chewing on something? Ah, back to Mario and Muscular. I guess it's a. Let's see. I guess it's a pun on the word muscular, but he's Muscular. What kind of hat is that? I'm thinking it's like one of those. It makes me think of the hat Donald Duck wears. It does look like that. Chill out is pretty good. 
I think I use it in boss fights. That's yeah, that's like the only time I use it. Some Star Spirit powers I usually try and save. Some I never use. But the only reason I'm going to use it in this one, use all of them in this one, is just to show them off, and that's it. I don't know how they can tell each other apart. All those young star spirits look alike. Or young stars. They're all yellow, and I, I just don't know how they can tell. Now, the star spirits, yeah, it's obvious. They look different. I suppose that is an honor, but I've talked to like four of them, so you know it's it, it's kind of lost its uh, appeal. Mount Lava 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 Island. That is a tongue twister. All she did was bake a cake. I don't consider that an amazement. Despite the fact that I can't do it. One, okay. What Shy Guy problem? Mario trams his thieves. The real larceny lovers known as Shy Guys have finally quit terrorizing a town. Mario tracked them to their ta to their toy box hideout. Valiantly dispersed their ranks and managed to rescue an imprisoned star spirit. To those who would prey on the innocent and weak, we say this: Mario will prevail. I'm, I've come back. I'm sure you've missed me. I've got a foolproof plan for coins. See you on the road, Kent C. Koopa. Okay, well, good luck with that, buddy. Alright, what's Luigi doing now? Where is he? I guess he's inside the house. What the? What the hell was he just reading? Hi Mario! Hi, uh, are you doing okay? Don't worry bro, I'll watch the house until you get back. That was weird. What, is he reading my mail or something? To Mario. Are you and Gumbario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Gumbario, by the way. Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Gumbario being a hero or is he just goofing off? You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toe Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there. I'd really like to hear from some of your exciting stories. I can't wait, really. Uh, you beat Bowser. You can... You can beat up Bowser. I know it, Gumbario. Ralph. Was it I... Ra Ralph? Ralph? Ralph. You're a cool customer. Show my gratitude. I'll be waiting for you with all my stock. Zero percent off. Thanks. Cheap tightwad. A shy guy appeared at my house the other day. I found him asleep in my bed. Can you believe it? I ran after him, but he's way too fast for me. I heard that a lot of shy guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly they came from Shy Guy's toy box. It must be somewhere in town. A toy box. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64. Nah, I didn't see one. The whole Goombario Goomba family visited me today. They said that Goombario was in care of my brother. And they gave me a souvenir. It was a Goomba, a special treat from Goomba Village. It looks so yummy I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by three. You think you'll notice? Why, oh, you selfish bastard. You no, know, screw it. I'm not letting you come on my adventure. Emmy's first strikes. Three. When did that happen? Did they get a first strike in Shy Guy's toy box? 
I don't even remember. So you just talk to a random person. Maybe no more. People say that somewhere in the world's an ultimate cookbook for master chefs. Oh yeah, I did get that, didn't I? Forgot I had that. Did I already give it to her? No, I haven't. I still got that dictionary. I should probably give that back. Oh, good heavens. That book you have. It looks like a cookbook. I can increase my repertoire in instant with that book. Mario, if it's okay with you, may I have it? Sure. I don't cook. Oh, I got it? How delightful. With this cookbook, I can use two kinds of ingredients at once and make even more fabulous dishes for you. Please bring me different ingredients so I can try out new recipes. I don't think I've got anything she combined. No, I don't. If you're going to travel far, you really should get healthy at Toad House first. Oh, and you stop by a shop and get some items. Brush your teeth, uh, da da da, don't forget to say, whatever. What's this thing? Tis no use trying to fish with no caterpillar. Gar, what a fix I be in. Well, there's nothing for it but me to find different bait. Wow. Was that like... What kind of accent was that? Southern New Orleans? Whatever you call it? Hey, it's Colorado. Hmm, who am I, you say? Well, my dear chap, I'm other than Colorado. Fan adventure and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. Okay, we already met, man. I guess that's for if you hadn't talked to him back in Dry Dry Desert. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in the volcanic cave. And a bit of a fix, though, no way to get there, you see? Hmm. Think now, Colorado, how to cross the sea. I don't know. Oh, this thing that... Actually, this was here last chapter, but it was farther out, so nothing we could do. Hmm. It's moving. Oh, cool. It does that. Whoa! Ouch, yowch, what are you doing? Oh, it's a whale. Or a tuna. No, it is a whale. And I have problems. I feel like something's jumping around in my belly. Ow, 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 help me. Hmm, I say, oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a belly ache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? What what possesses you to think that's a tuna? I told you, I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from you jumping around on me too. You think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Whoa. Now, now, you really should help out, dear boy. Me in there, poppycock. My grandmother's last words, and I quote, were, "Do not go inside a gi giant tuna." I wouldn't hesitate, of course, being a fearless explorer, but dear boy, one simply can't ignore one's grandmother. Wow, your grandmother was weird. It's like totally dark in here. Ew. That's disgusting. Wah! Who dat? Oh god, is that a saint's reference? What do you think you're doing with that light? Well, we're supposed to touch him. I got a first strike, but I didn't do any damage. Hey, fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm a, I'm ornery as all get out. Prepare for some pain. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Fuzzipede. Okay. I'm thinking his HP is like 20-ish. 20, 15. Somewhere in that area. Ouch. Damn it. 
I didn't block that. Eh, whatever. That's why I got hammer throw. Because after he attacks, he jumps up on the ceiling. Or, yeah, ceiling. This is kind of pointless. Oh, he <laughs> faked me out that time. Why are you doing that? It's annoying. Now you're dead. Aw, shucks. First I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans and into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me, you know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. You know, you've got, like, wooden crates, bottles, and boat inside your stomach. Maybe that was it. Hey, it's you, old boy. You're that dumb old fish that ate me up and all such. You plumb idiot. You know, I thought I was a gone for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see that forgiving you this time, but you just watch it. Er, I reckon I'll use some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. The things I do. Phew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. Haha, <laughs> references. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, I am, I mean, I, the whale, I'm quite good at swimming. Duh. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany to the shores of Lava Lava Island. For the trip it'll be, uh, the island is wonderful, you must trust my instincts. Mario, um... I think the Star Kid said a Star Spirit was, um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, um, we should go. Big Whale give us, Big Whale give us a ride. We. Hmm, Lava Lava Island. Yes, of course, I know where it is, but there's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay, it's your, it's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, next time we will ride the giant tuna. Flash whale, whatever you call it.